You see this wire here? Goes over there, stretches a long way out there. You know what it has in common with that yellow pipe right over there? Yeah, they're both long stretches of wire that are unshielded. Uh, this one over here is the DC supply for my solar panels. And it goes into the house and you say, what has this got to do with anything? Well, that first wire over here is an antenna that I use for my crystal radios. And it's running parallel to that pipe. And it occurred to me one day that, you know what? I bet that thing is picking up radio signals too. And so I started doing a search on the internet and guess what? Picking up radio signals, especially when there's a big transmitter not terribly far away, is not a good thing for your inverter. So let me uh, show you what I've done about it. Here's where that wire comes into the house. Comes down over here through the DC breaker right there. It's gonna flow down underneath here and back up. And these are the inputs to the inverter. You can see the inverter right there. And first thing I did was I got two uh, filters, RFI filters, and snapped them on the individual leads because I happen to have these. And then as I did more reading, I found out that RFI filters work better if you both, if you cover both the uh, plus and minus leads. So I bought a bigger one, snapped it on the outside of there. Uh, let's uh, take a close up. I'll uh, put these uh, down on the, uh, on the table and we'll do a close up of those. Before I forget to mention it, the, uh, the need for the RFI filter is also true if you're using these uh, DC controllers, not just the uh, AC inverter like we saw upstairs. Here are two of these RFI filters, as you can see, they just have a, a ferrite core. It's got a, a tube that fits the wire, like this one. And I'll lay it out here so you can see a little bit better. You can see the channel that runs down through there and you get it for the size of the wire, the external size of the wire. So if the external size of the wire is six millimeters, you get a six millimeter one and you lay it, your wire in there or both wires in, the, in that case. And then you just snap it around and it goes click and it uh, saves it, it uh, secures it I should say. And this is a small version of the same thing uh, this is where I uh, put one on each individual wire and again the same idea just put the wire in there and snap it closed um, what I'm dealing with is the uh, AM station that's about a kilometer away and also the neighbors installed a 5g cell phone tower close by so yeah, it was starting to interfere with, it actually interferes with my microphone and, and uh, video equipment on the roof. So that was the first hint. I found several good articles. I will include the links for those, uh, for some of the research I found. One of them in particular was a uh, ham radio operator and he was having to deal with his own high power transmissions. So he had a lot of uh, good information. Okay, well, that was it for this uh, little bit of information I never knew. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your home solar projects.